back on TV again. Okay, so going to bed at like 5 a.m. and waking up at 7.45 so you can try to get ready to go record a video in the morning, it's not the best idea. But today was going to be special because one of my best friends was getting married to the best woman in his life. And the greatest woman in his life, the woman that he wanted to be with forever. But I had to get to Big Brandon headquarters and every part of my body was hurting. Uh, but I got there and was greeted by Christian whenever he actually opens the door. Go ahead. Open the door, Christian. There you go. So got in there, got the job done. Videos recorded. Now we needed to pack up. So I can get back on the road because there was still so much stuff that I had to do as a groomsman to make sure that the day went smooth, like print out vows and print out the schedule for the day. I want to go ahead and say that last night, epic fun night at Dave and Buster's was awesome for me and I believe Jarrell too. But today is all about the big W wedding day. And I'm on my way to pick up Chastity so we can go find shoes now. Yay, going to find shoes. All right, so I made it home. And Chastity was putting lotion on and like there was a dry piece on my lotion. This is that dry piece. She's afraid of it. Please, babe, stop. I just don't like how that feels, seriously. <laughs> Stop! Please! 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 Babe, stop! Seriously! Now, what were you saying? I said I have texture issues with any like food related thing, anything physical. So, basically, anything with matter. If it feels weird, I just I can't do it. Her texture issue is something that I always pick with her about, even when it comes to her eating certain foods. So yeah, you might think I'm a douchebag, but it's kind of funny to me, and I think she likes it when I mess with her anyway. Uh, so we made it to the mall, and I just realized that I still have to edit yesterday's vlog. Uh, this is gonna be pretty interesting. Yep, I panicked. Uh, got in the mall whenever Chastity went to look for her shoes. So we got in there, and we got to Charlotte Russe, and we got the shoes. Thank God they still had them. And I want to say that I think it made Chastity pretty happy that they had them. So I get to Starbucks, get to editing, and then I run into some more YouTubers. Okay, so this big camera rig always attracts people. And whenever I say attracts people, it attracts like-minded people. So I ran into Josh and Brittany, and it turns out that, guess what? They are running their own YouTube channels right here on YouTube as well. So I'm gonna let them go ahead and give you guys like a little like background story on them while I edit my video. All right. Yeah. All right guys, I'm new on YouTube. Uh, my YouTube is my sisters. Me and her are doing a video. We're gonna have it up tomorrow. So subscribe to Leslie Vega Squad. Um, or you can add me on Instagram, b.joshua. So yeah. So subscribe, and we're gonna make our video tomorrow. Post it. If y'all comment, I'll reply, and yeah, it'll be lit. What's up, everybody? I'm Brittany Vega. I'm fixing to start up my new uh, makeup channel on YouTube. You can find me at Brittany Vega, and I'll just be doing like all different kind of looks. So I'm gonna be putting up a video up pretty soon. So subscribe, watch my video, and hope you guys like my channel. See, you always, I always meet really good people in Starbucks. I think it's the synergistic energy of the coffee that's, that just brings people around me. So, I want you guys to go show my friends some love, subscribe to their YouTube channels, like their latest videos, and that would be great. I appreciate it, and that's just about it right now, for right now. All right, bye. Okay, so meeting Josh and Brittany was awesome, but I was in a panic because I left the equipment that I needed to do my voiceover in the truck. So I needed to do everything possible to get the edits done before I had to go to the venue. But 
God helped me, and I got it done. We made it home, got in the truck, and I headed toward the venue. Did you go to the house? Did you go to the house? He rode with me. I hope not. Don't you have the keys? I did. All right, so the madness has already started because we're looking for Jarrell. And I'm here with some of the fellas. Right now. So, waiting on, waiting on them so we can shoot this. There we go. I got a battery that's not about to die. So, Jarrell's nowhere to be found after probably about 10 or 15 minutes of looking for him. So, we went ahead and drunk that shot anyway. It was the best shot I've ever had in my entire life. Okay. So. I think my tolerance for alcohol is significantly lower than what it used to be. And we took two of those shots. And I don't want to stand up right now. I just want to lay down. Because it feels that good. I don't even condone drinking like that. But if every shot that I take is like that, I will always be drunk. We're about to get dressed. So... I don't need your judgment, bro. Okay, we need to We're about to get dressed. See, this is why I don't drink. I guarantee you that those clips were only like three minutes apart. Like, I took those two shots, I sat there, I watched the VR video, and then I was already unbuzzed. Well, we got dressed, and everything was copacetic. And we all looked super smooth. Super smooth. I was fresh. All right, so we getting the photos done. Your boy Fresh. Hey. Where are huh? What are you doing? Hi, people. Young fellas. Oh. <laughs> okay, so that's. Is that better? They're standing up. They're standing up now. So that was Dylan and Bradley. Uh, but anyway, we are about to take photos. I'm about to hide my camera and pray to God that it can still hear whenever we get finished. And the ceremony is all over, and then I can recap you guys later on, all right? No, you're not going to get in trouble by Marcel. But the microphone was off. Like I said, I always do that. She came to the rescue, so she's going to take the camera and do it. Do they have a, a videographer? Yeah. It's on me. Is it a picture or a video? It's a video. <laughs> Hey guys, happy wedding Sunday. Um, so, the wedding should be starting any minute now. I'm gonna make sure to capture Franklin walking down the aisle because he's a groomsman, as you all know. And I'm gonna try to catch a couple parts of the wedding too so you guys can see because Franklin won't be able to because he's actually in the wedding. So, I'm gonna go out there, see what's going on. We'll see you later. Look at me, I'm so smooth walking down the aisle. And shout out to my babe for actually taking over the vlogging responsibilities. She did an amazing job. Little Bradley. And then the ceremony actually was super beautiful, super traditional, straight to the point. The vows that they gave to each other were handwritten by one another. So it made for like something that was super special to both of them and something that they will never forget. I can never write as well as either one of them. We mosey on down the aisle, man, and it was like great. I don't think that anybody else could imagine anything more beautiful than union between two people that are willing to be with each other for the rest of their natural lives. All right, so the wedding was really good. We're done. I found my friend Alicia. Hey. So yeah, we're oh no, you're good. So yeah, we're waiting for them to finish taking their photos, and then we'll go back in there for the reception. So yeah, everything was really good. If you didn't know it, selfies are a natural component of any wedding. All selfies, all three of their selfies. 
need to take photos at weddings. DJ had the party so lit. The reception was on point. We danced, we laughed, some people cried, and we just had an overall good time. The food was fantastic, and Jarrell had us come out like we were playing basketball. I'm so hyped, so hyped. They were so happy to actually be finally married and joined together in their union. It was so awesome to actually even be a part of it, to actually be in the presence of people that wanted to have something that they could remember all together, which was a beautiful union between two people. I know I keep saying that, but like that's what a marriage is. It's the joining together of two people that brings other people together so that we can all live together, smile, laugh, joke, cry, and depend on one another. Like me and my wife. The decorations were awesome and people were killing themselves singing. Not dancing, but singing so loud. It was amazing. Of course, the traditional line dance went down. And you know it's not going to be a party without juveniles. Back that thing up. I was just happy to be there, man. They were so happy, and Jarrell is my brother, and I know that Keisha is going to be an amazing wife, and he's going to be an amazing husband. No story short, today was completely successful. I was able to do everything without rushing today. It's actually pretty good. And those shots that we took were really good, too.